My name is Sandra Kim Wen Li. I born in China in 1945 and moved to Hong Kong in 1955 or 54. I can I can remember now. I moved to Hong Kong with my mother. In the beginning, I uh, stayed with my grandma for a while and then rent a place for ourselves. Stayed there for for a few years. Then in 1966, immigrated to. United States. I was excited. When I was living with my family, that time I was single. I met my boyfriend in 1967. I saw Chinese people live next door. Just say hello. So that's all until 1970, then he, we are start dating. In 1973, we got married. I, my next house, I don't have to move very far, just to my next door, because my husband just lived next door to me, with his mother. So we live together for convenience. Uh, I, I don't have to move so far away from my family. In 1974, my mother-in-law told my husband to move out, but my husband did not tell me. That time I was pregnant. We had to go out in the weekend to look for a house and always come back home at 10 o'clock. That is the usual. And until one night after dinner, we saw that house on sale. So I we walked up and knocked the door. Are you selling your house? And then saw so that's why lucky talk to the owner. That's our first house we bought. We are happy because that time we have a, a baby son. He was uh, born in that house. And then after we lived there for three years, I got pregnant again. So we decided to move. I moved down there, so my son is only three years old, and then my uh, daughter born in that house. We lived there 46 years. We did not plan to move out. We have party all the time. Then my children's uh, birthday party and Christmas party, we all get together. I have three bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs with a big family room. It's a big in-law unit. And then the backyard, I extend it outside. I grow lots of fruit trees, pears, lemon, and white peaches, and red dates, guava trees. I grow lots of trees, and I give it to friends. They all remember, when are we going to pick up the fruit? Everybody remember that is the happy day, right? Everybody remember my fruits. So it's real good. So that's why I have a good memory about my houses, especially my husband. Even though he did not take, like to go to take care of it, but he enjoyed the fruits and give it to friends. My husband, Walter Lee, he passed away in 2015, July 17. He stayed in the hospital for, but he cannot come out. So he, he yelled at the doctor, no, 
I will go out. I want to watch my grandchildren grow up. The doctor said, no. But he is lucky in the hospital. He celebrated our 42nd anniversary. All the time he, he in the hospital, he will be very friendly to the nurses. Everybody know him. Every time he, oh, what if you come back? <laughs> But to bed this time, I don't know why. He all of a sudden after the surgery, okay, and then we we are planning to come home. But all of a sudden they said no, he cannot go. So so they let him stay there and let him die in peace. I love the house, lots of memory, happy memory, you know. I, I do not want to move out, but the reason I move out because I'm getting old. I cannot take care too much of the house because this is a big house. I cannot take care of it by myself. So I decided to move out. After we signed the paper, I feel sad because actually I don't want to move out. In the beginning, it is hard to live by myself. Sometimes in my mind, you know, oh, I thought my husband sit next to me. But, uh, well, time goes by, I have to force myself Self to accept the fact, you know, I have to live by myself. I cannot depend on anybody. I have to live by myself. <laughs>